So I know a lot of you don't believe it, but what if in the end Thomas is the mower? And also, what about that hint on the money again? I think we need to talk about all of that. If you are interested in it, then keep watching. Welcome back to your new Quick Hints video, this time to episode number 7. Also, I have to admit that this time we have one hint that is still connected to episode number 6 and one a bit more general hint, which is the money hint. I know that a lot of you have crossed off Thomas of your suspicions list weeks ago. Nevertheless, I have two hints today related to him. Listen to them and then in the end tell me what you think now. So the first quick hint of today isn't so quick, but I will try to keep it short. Nevertheless, I think you need to know all of it to get the meaning. So, as you probably know, each candidate who leaves the game writes a little diary entry that will then be published on the official Vistamo website. And in the diary entry of Sahil, he tells us about quite an interesting situation that he had the night before the game started. So before the whole Vistamo game started. So they were already in the hotel and he went into a lift. And in that lift was another person. And Zahil describes how he felt an energy coming from that person that felt like that person was preparing to run a marathon. And he also tells us that he basically turned around and yelled at the person, you are the mole. Well, if that isn't crazy enough, then he also tells us that later in the hotel where all the people met who had to leave the game, he thought a lot about his last test. And he also thought about what could have been different if he had filled out the last question on the person he had met in that hotel lift. And he also tells us that he changed his decision on how to fill out the test only seconds before the test took place. Now so far so good. I will also tell you why I think this is important. So in the last weeks I've already presented you two hints that were in the show Mohenstreken. And they all had to do with a video call the presenter Lavezzi had with Rick. And last week there was another one of those video calls which we haven't talked about yet. And again Lavezzi gets to ask one question and that video call gets interrupted this time. It doesn't die off completely but it gets interrupted. The connection dies, well not completely but it gets worse. So we can't understand what Rick actually answers to that question. Nevertheless, I think it's quite interesting why that phone connection dies. Because we can see that Rick steps in a lift. Well, if you ask me, then it simply can't be a coincidence that they have a hint in the show Mollenstrecken, which, well, doesn't really work out because of a lift. And in the same week, we have Zahir so writing in his diary and try about a weird situation happening in a hotel lift. Now you probably wonder why I'm telling you all of that and that it sounds interesting but whom does it lead to? Well the situation Zahir describes happened the night before the game started and if you remember the first task of this season and what happened there then it probably gets us to the mall. So before the first game started each candidate had a little talk with Rick and he asked all of them to tell him their first suspicious person. So who they thought could be the mole. Some of them answered spontaneously, some of them answered quite sure. And right after that first episode I uploaded an overview of whom suspected who on my Instagram simply because I thought that question was so random and at least in the seasons that I have seen something like that never has happened before. And if we have a look at that overview and whom Zahil answered to that question, well then we can see that he answered... Thomas. Now, just imagine you are the mole. You are in the total lift. Someone steps in. You know that other person is a candidate. And that person suddenly turns around and tells you that you are the mole. Before the game started, in the first one-on-one -on -one situation, I don't know about you, but if I was the more and that would happen to me, then I would most likely freak out. I would have been already caught before the whole thing even started. Now, if Thomas is the more, it is also interesting to see 
how he answered Turek's question. And if we have a look on the overview again, then we can see that he answered Sahil. Now, this could be a really good reaction to making Zahir suspicious as well and to reacting to a probably weird situation that happened in a hotel lift the night before the game started. Okay, that was a long first quick hint, but I thought it was really interesting and I'm really curious what you think about it. Now off to quick hint number two. And yes, this one has to do with Thomas as well. So as you know, the official Vista Mall YouTube channel uploads little extra videos on Mondays and Tuesdays. And this week they uploaded one which had to do with that lunch break scene we saw in the episode. So as you know, in this episode we only saw like a short scene of that and now we got to see a little more of the conversation they had. And during that conversation, Letizia somehow tells Thomas that she saw him behind her. So she refers to that boat task they had before and as you know the mole was on one boat behind them and she really tells him that she saw him behind her and he says yes that's right I was behind you. Now I had a look at the order in which the candidates had to take photos and it was Kim, Leanne, Everon, Fresia, Thomas, Letizia. So at least if that is the right order we know that sometimes the production likes to change orders, but if that is the correct order in which everything took place, then at least Letizia couldn't have meant it like, oh, it was your turn after my, that's why I saw you behind me. But she could have really meant it like, oh, you were in the boat behind me. And if you've watched my last Hints and Theories video to episode number seven, then you know that a lot of people saw a lot of candidates on the boats, but not Thomas. I think if we have a close look on that boat, we could see a person with a light blue shirt and a dark blue cap. We could imagine that at least. Nevertheless, the production would never ever let us see the mole so clearly. And to well doubt that hint a little bit, if Letizia really saw Thomas, then the big big question is why didn't she fill out the test on him? Now enough about Thomas and off to quick hint number three, which is the money one. And after that scene in my last Sins and Furious video with Kim Leon and that little hole in that bill, a lot of you started to talk about the money in the comments or ask questions about the money, which is why I thought, okay, we finally need to talk about that money hint. And you probably know, the bill that Kim Leon holds in the camera is the one that she held back after that, well, let's call it upside down task, where they had to go upside down in that huge tower. And if we have a closer look on the bill as she gets it, then we can see that there's something printed on that bill right in the exact same spot where now the hole is. Which is why it is very likely that this is the hint Rick mentioned in episode number one. Now, there are a few things you need to know about that. The first thing is that if we have a closer look on all those 250 euro bills that were earned in the task, there were three of them. So Kim Lian got one, Letizia got one and Hila got one. Now we can have a look at all of those three, but we can only see that little hint on two of them. But there's a reason for that, because if we have a look on Kim Lian ones, then we can see that the hint is only printed on one side of the bill. So if you turn the bill like that, you can see it, and if you turn it around, you can't see it anymore because it isn't printed on the back of the bill, if you want to say it like that. And we can only see Letizia's bill from one side, which is why we can't see the hint in her hands. But we can see it in Hila's hands and in Kim Lian's, and we can try to zoom in a little on that. So, I will put a photo of that hint in here, I did some screenshots. I have to be honest, I haven't fully figured out what it is supposed to be and I haven't found any very well logical thing on the internet yet. But I'm really curious if you have any ideas. I thought about some things but yeah, I really wouldn't guarantee any of it so far. So here's the hint. There are two things we could conclude. The first one is, if Kim Lian 
is the mole. Then of course she would be interested in getting rid of all of the bills with that hint on. Now, then it wouldn't make sense to hold it back in that weird way. Back then, Hila was treasurer and she was very close to Kim Leon, so it would have been a good option for Kim Leon to get that money out of the pot without doing it so obviously. And also, if you are the mole, why would you carry one of the three bills around with you in your bra? And I mean, it makes sense that she kind of pulled the hint out of that bill so that there's now the hole in it but well why carry it around with you and the second option is if Kim Lian isn't a mole then this is a hint to someone else and she probably didn't want the others to see that hint with her because of course if you figure out what that hint is supposed to mean then it gives you a huge advantage in the whole game and now if the second option is right, then it could lead to everyone because Kim Lian told us that she filled the last test out on him. So now I'm really curious what you think about that hint on the mole money and if you have any ideas what it could mean. I'm also curious what you think about Thomas now. If you suspect him or if you still say he's going to leave as soon as possible. And if you don't want to miss any other hints of theories videos, then please don't forget to subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and I wish you so much fun watching the new episode of Fears the Mole this weekend and we see each other in the next Hints and Theories video then hopefully a step closer to figuring out who the mole is. Bye!